Tim Walls is becoming one of the worst vice presidential selections in modern history. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video, and today... We have to talk about the 2024 presidential election because Tim Walls is an absolute disaster for Harris, and I know, I've been saying for a week now that this pick never made sense, but never in a million years did I think it would be this bad. I always thought that it was a pick that doubled down on the progressive base, but that's about it. It wasn't going to necessarily change the race that much because usually vice presidential picks... They don't change much of anything, if at all. That, that's just the reality of it. Vice presidential picks, th th people make it sound like they're that big of a deal. Not really. But now, th this pick is becoming such a disaster because it seems like every other hour, we hear something else about this bozo. It's getting so bad that I really believe there's a chance. Again, I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but there's a chance this pick could actually hurt Harris. And you know what? Let's go over some of the scandals that Walls has been exposed for the, in the past, what, five days? Think about it. In just five days, there's been like 30 different scandals on this bozo. And it seems like it just gets worse and worse and worse. And let's start with the first, I would, I would say the, the first sign that this family in particular wasn't normal that there was something up here now for context this was right after the riots in 2020 okay that that's important context the first lady of minnesota gave this interview on a local affiliate and look and just hear what she has to say i would say those first days you know when there were riots i could smell the burning tires and um that was that was a very real thing and i kept the windows open for as long as i could because i felt like that was such a touchstone of what was what was happening you heard her properly that's not a, that's not a parody that's not ai that's what the first lady of minnesota said she was smelling the burning tires and she wanted to soak in the moment she kept the windows open what for starters why do you want to smell burning tires? That, that, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound normal. But secondly, why would you say that when Minneapolis was on fire? There were riots outside, you know, people were getting killed, shit was being lit on fire. Why the hell would you say that? Seriously, why? A bunch of stores got robbed, and that's what you have to say about it? Yeah, I, I had to smell the burning tires. And not only that, but she enjoyed it. Like, I wanted to smell burning tires to soak in the moment. Meanwhile, a bunch of people are getting killed and buildings are being lit on fire and that's what you gotta say? Just crazy. That, that's what you call weird. Not what Vance said about Mountain Dew. This is weird to say... I love to smell burning tires while the city's on fire. I just, what are you talking about? Now, you could argue, well, that's the first lady. But the, the, the fact is, she is the wife of Tim Waltz. And whatever she says, people are going to think about Tim Waltz right off the bat. Now, I really thought this was as bad as it was going to get. Because when you talk about something so insane like this... You really think this is the, this is their main attack line, that she was enjoying the city burning. She loved the smell of tires on fire. And that, that's as bad as it's going to get for Waltz. Well, people began to dig even further. And you could argue that this is just scratching the surface. This is nothing compared to other things that Tim Waltz has supported or done in the past. Now, people began to look into his record, you know, he supports transgenderism. His abortion law in Minnesota is so extreme that they allow abortion post-birth. That's a fact. They, they have no restrictions on it. You can have an abortion whenever you want. It doesn't matter. It's extreme. It's insane. There's other stuff like the CCP stuff. You know, he's involved with China. It gets worse. But nothing, and I mean nothing, 
can top what could very well be one of the biggest political bombshells in the last 15 years. That, of course, is Walls' record in the military. Now, I want to be clear. I am not denying that he was in the military. He was, all right? That's, that's common sense. Like, that's common knowledge. Everyone agrees with that. But he is so full of shit about what he actually did during his time in the military. For example, there has been hundreds of videos of him lying. For example, look at this, all right? Let's watch this video and listen carefully to what he says. Okay, let's just skip ahead to the part, the part that actually matters. But we can do background checks. We can do CDC research. We can make sure we don't have reciprocal carry among states. And we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only... Hear what he said? So let's just go back a little bit. ...among states. And we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is... Those weapons of war that I carried in war. That's an odd thing to say because you were never in war. Yes, you were in the military, but... You make it sound like you were in an active combat zone. You never were. And this is what people have a big problem with. He lied. He lied about being in war. He never was. He, he's so full of shit. And apparently, he's been doing this for years. Look at this. This was a video from 2009. I'm not going to play it because it's a long video. I recommend people watch it, though. This is from 2009. And a veteran confronted Walls' staff over claims that he served in Afghanistan. He lied about that. He was never in Afghanistan. He was never in Iraq. He lied. And this is why it's such a big scandal. It's not that he says, you know, he was in the military. No, that's not what people have a problem with. It's, oh, I, I was in the military, but I was also, you know, in Afghanistan. I was in Iraq. You lied. You were never in any of those countries, all right? You, you never were. It's not like with Vance where he was actually in Iraq. He was there. You weren't. So this isn't just a brand new scandal. No, it's a scandal that finally people are talking about. This has been going on for like 20 years where a bunch of people have been trying to confront Walls about his record. And but before like a week ago, no one was successful. And we're not talking about random people. You have veterans like this going to Walls of Staff and saying, hey, you claimed, or your campaign claimed he was in Afghanistan. He never was. And now you have a bunch of his people in his own unit, right? His own unit. They are saying he's a liar. He's a scumbag. He bailed on us. We were supposed to go to Iraq. And, which, by the way, he knew about the possibility of it. Don't let the media fool you. There was a possibility, and he admitted it, that, yeah, I could be shipped off to Iraq, you know, in a couple months. And that's when he was running his congressional campaign. He admitted that. And he bailed on the, on the unit when they got shipped off. He's a scumbag. He's a liar. And it keeps getting worse. Look at this. Tim Walls was caught wearing a hat of special forces even though he never worked with special forces now on paper this isn't a big deal like okay whatever maybe it was during a fundraiser and someone gave him a hat and he was wearing it fine it wasn't just a fundraiser he wore it a bunch of times like look at this picture that beto of old people posted this was during like a concert or something and walls was caught wearing it and during a debate, he wore it. You see the problem here? He wore it here. This wasn't just, you know, a, a one-off occurrence that he got a hat that he didn't know what it was. He didn't realize it was special forces. No. He, he, he's been wearing this consistently. Even though he was never involved with special forces. What a scumbag. Again, a one-off occurrence, fine. It was a mistake you didn't realize. But when you wear it many times, you have to know what the hat actually means, right? I, he either doesn't care, or he's so incompetent that he doesn't even realize that that's a hat for special forces. And it just keeps getting worse. Look at this. He lied about being a command sergeant major. When in reality, he retired as a master sergeant. 
He can't even get his military rank right. And this was 10 years ago. It just gets worse. It's like, what the hell are we doing here? He can't even get his military rank correct. He lied about that. That just, that is just unbelievable. And you know who I feel bad for? I feel awful for people that are currently serving or did serve. Because you have this bozo lying about his record, lying about his rank. Everything about him is a lie. It makes people that serve in the military look bad. That's the truth in it. It makes people look bad. And that's what I'm pissed off about. And that's why a bunch of other people are mad. Because this scumbag is making a joke of the entire military. What are you doing? Again, if this was a one-off occurrence where he said something wrong, whatever. It's, it's, it's a one-off. But he's been doing this consistently for 20 years. Every campaign he's ran, he's ran in, he's lied about his record. And now, it's getting exposed. And it just keeps getting worse. Look at this. This is 2006. When he announced his candidacy for the House back then, this is what he said. He served for 24 years in the Army National Guard, retiring as a command sergeant major in the spring of 2005, which, by the way, is wrong. Yeah, he retired a master sergeant. But look at this. From 2003 to 2004, he served overseas in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Now, again, you could say that's right. That, yeah, he was part a part of Operation Enduring Freedom. But he makes it sound like he was in Iraq. You know, he was... He stormed the, the country of Iraq. No. He was in Italy. He was never in Iraq. Again, it's a small thing, but even 20 years ago, he was doing the same crap. He was saying, yeah, I was involved with Operation Enduring Freedom. Uh, yeah, in a support role in Italy. But you were never in the Middle East. And it just, the more you read this, the more I just get pissed off. Because it's... It's been a lie going on for 20 years. But people are finally starting to realize, oh, wait a minute. This guy's full of shit. He's a professional bullshitter. Anything he says is complete horseshit. Uh, funny, by the way. But any, either way, this guy is a professional liar. He can't even tell the truth about his record in the military. And you would think he would be 100% honest with his experience in the military. Who cares if you were a sergeant major or, you know, whoever in the military? Does it really matter? Does it? it, it who cares? If you're, you're in the military, people are going to respect you. You don't have to lie about your own record. That's just crazy. That's delusional. That's, that's insane. But this may not be the end of the scandals. It seems like every day a brand new scandal pops for Waltz. And now, look at this. Tim Walls, on at least five occasions, hosted a Muslim cleric who celebrated Hamas's October 7th attack and promoted a pro-Hitler film. That's not a joke. This is real. This bozo, on five occasions, again, if this was a one-off, fine. But five times, he hosted a Muslim cleric who not only celebrated the October 7th attack, but he promoted a pro-Hitler film. What? This is just crazy. And on top of that, the Cleric's Islamist group received $100,000 in state funding from Walls. Holy crap. The more people look into this guy, the more they realize, wait. This guy's insane. He's deranged. He's a professional liar. He's been doing this for 20 years. He can't even be honest about his military experience. I cannot believe that it's this bad. But apparently, it's only going to get worse. Apparently, there's other stuff that makes this look like nothing. I cannot confirm if that's 100% true, but... If that's the case, that this is nothing compared to what they really got on the guy, uh, good luck. Good luck to Democrats that they banked possibly their entire presidency on this bozo. We just got to see what happens, but this is getting bad. Each passing minute, 
we get something new about the guy. Whether it's him promoting this crap, whether it's about him lying about his military experience, it's just a disaster. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.